Um, so yeah, it, did, it didn't really matter, guys. Like, look, if you look at how it played out, even if I would have milled him, he already had the flame torch. Even if I would have got death rattle, he would just flame and torch, done the exact same play. He would flame and torch it away because he flame and torch me in the face. Um. So yeah, it, it still would have would have worked out exactly the same. Because when he did the Frost Nova Doomsayer, he flame and torched me to the face. So it was like, it didn't really matter. Like, he, he had time to draw all his pieces. So. The only thing we could have done was stop him from drawing that many pieces. Why is Hearthstone lagging? Like I said, don't you fucking disconnect me. I'll find you and hunt you down. Yeah. So, I mean, that was just a tough loss. It, it's, it's a worse matchup. And now the new Freeze Mage, they play all the burn. They play double flame and torch and everything. And everything. So, if anything, it makes the matchup against Zeus so much stronger. All right. Thank you. You. Yeah. So this is probably Murloc, and <sighs> Murloc, you got you got to be quick. You got to be quick. Yeah, we knew that was coming because they do play uh, Pyro and Equality and stuff like that. So Defender of Argus would be a really good draw here, a really strong draw. Didn't get there though. We to consecrate. Um. But it, it, I mean, we, we have to, we, we have to do it. I mean, he's just, he's just consecrating in attacks here. There's no real way to play around it. Only way to play around would be not to play the Peller and wait for next turn to play the Peller. But I'd rather have two of these on the following turn after he's played the consecrate and wasted the weapon. So, because he has to double kill these, so. Like, like he's double killing this, he has to double kill these, so it, it works out a little bit better. Yeah. Now, where are these people coming from with these decks? Nah, you're never too late, buddy. I mean, I don't know. There might have been some merit to playing one and one and having two one ones left. I mean, it works out the same for us, which is bad. But bad goes from worse here. Yeah, you're, they're a little too late to the party, buddy. I mean, because I sacrificed both of these in to kill one. That's not even really that strong. I mean, he still has efficient trades with a blue gill or Marka. What can I draw? I got two borrowed women left. Night juggler could do some shenanigans. Got two of those. And that's about it. Dark Pilot could pull me a PO. Cause I really don't like that bad at all. I don't I I can't stand it. It just feels so wrong. Betting on a PO seems better. Didn't get it. We might actually just die here. Honestly. If he has the right stuff, uh what's double blue gill and a murka? Is that death? No. He doesn't have enough. He's one man short from double blue gill and murka. I mean to death. Why do these people want me to play Druid playing this shit? Um Yeah, the highest win rate is what's good. I mean, Zoo's good, Priest is good, Druid's good. I mean, there's just a lot of good decks. Like, this deck right now has a 74% win rate right now. I'm 17 and 6 with it. So, is that, that, that's really good. Knife Juggle would be amazing. Yeah. Oh. Why do you tease me? 
Why? I said why? Did you tease me so? You know that I'm a winner. Seven. Yeah, this deck is 17 and six. So 23 games in with it. About to be 17 and seven. Uh, I mean, this is just a tough matchup. I mean, so many different clears. And then once they get this bastard off, he starts trading efficiently. So it's like they still our strategy of trading efficiently. And then they clear the board better than we do. Because he plays double consecrate, equality, um, wild power master, equality consecrate, wild power master just clears in general. So it just becomes very a very trying endeavor when you face this deck. Come on, you can't give me that. I mean, motherfucker, you can at least give me that, bruh. Jesus. I mean, they're, they're not being gentle today. I know that much. They, they giving daddy some wood. All right, that, that's fine. Can I get this too? Can I get this for a discount? Thank you, I appreciate it. Let me stick that in the, in the buggy and get the fuck up out of here. So, Murlocs, he's got two war leaders and a blue gill. So blue gill has six attack. See, this is what I'm saying, like, you know, we get some, somewhat of an offense and he literally could, could, could have, could clear our board, but he doesn't have it. So, um, we get a little bit more time. We've got the lethal setup and equality cost six, but that's probably equality. He's had one like one of these cards. This card over here has been his hand the entire time. Oh boy. In the control matchup, not playing Isle is killing us. It, it really is. That's the only matchup where not playing Isle is just just damning us to hell. Wow, it's uh Oh. oh, squat that thing out right there. If he gets win through, we win. If he gets win fury, we can't win. So it has to be one of these two. This one. It has to be this guy. He has to get win fury. My seal for our. Oh, Jesus, so close. No. He got taunt again. Fuck, how do you get double taunt? No, that's still lethal. I'm sorry. All right. Whew. All right, we still got it. We still got it. We still got it.